love them, hate them video game commercials. Some are good, some are bad. But you know what's always good? A Kid Icarus video. So let's get it. Kid Icarus. Pop. And now the latest headline straight from the newsroom with Sour Nick. Sour Nick. I wonder why his face is so sour looking. Sponge. Do hey, you Bobby want Sponge. Fish? Come yes. on down to Big Fish. What big do you sell fish. at Big Fish? Oh. Okay. We have fish. Nice. Yes. Ah! Ah! Good evening. You scare me. I'm Tim Face. Hi, I'm Tim very Face. I'm proud to present to you our latest house on the market. Oh, that is a lovely dumpster. This contemporary ground It's got boxes. Skip. It's, it's got bags. This is you would expect for the modern family, including space. It's got some video games in there, bags. or not video games, but games. Angles. Got paintings rust. you can hang up on the wall. Featuring the latest in house defense technology. Glass. You'd be a fool to not jump on He's in there with broken glass barefoot. Million a day. So call today and inquire now. But just watch out. Hopefully, you clean the glass up. Whatever this is. The fact that he got dressed up in this, uh, these leggings and then jumped out of this trash can. The fact that he walked in the woods in these leggings and socks barefoot i wonder how bad his feet hurt and he's just running through a construction site okay hoot hooters picture this you make a thing and you're really proud of it but there's just one problem you live in a field. You, you need do to live sell in a field. That, that is a problem. Some and what better way to do that I don't than know. with an advert of a black guy stretching your face out? You'd think the oh. easiest and most effective okay. way of selling a that video game would be to sounds, show the video uh, game. Illegal. And nowadays, or that's exactly what we do. Not but illegal, but the artistry? Where's naughty. the daring? Where's the soul? Where's my PS2 Where commercials soul? directed by David Lynch, eh? Where's my Lynch? I don't remember any of these bloody things. I remember the two adorable Japanese oh God, look men at the uniting pixels. the rednecks in a game of Wii Tennis. I remember the Dead Island reverse zombie chase. I remember Child Jack Black telling the me pixels. how great Pitfall is. I remember the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Pitfall Dead sucked, Space by the One way. trailer. I remember Stevie Wonder being used to show how Atari is so great, you don't even need eyes to enjoy it. Oh, oh wait, that's fake. Well, it shouldn't have been. I think video game ads are that a would lost be. That art. would be a pretty good ad. Who cares about what the game is like? I want to bring back the ads that have barely anything to do with anything. Okay. They're as much an ad for a video game as they are for a massive hat. Like what? That is a massive hat. It's you know, bigger like on the inside, Banjo Kazooie. Like the hamster that broke his wheel and then died of boredom, which was for jeans. Or like how Ridley Scott directed weird. an ad in 1973 about a boy pushing his bike up a hill and then riding it back down again. And it was for... Bread. Or how about that ad starring Johnny Depp, full name Jonathan Department, and he's lost Jonathan in the desert Department. driving a car, which for some reason meant it was advertising a men's fragrance Suavage. called Sausage. And today I want to Sauf celebrate them. Suavage. All of them. Sausage. I love them even if they're terrible, like my kids. Yes, everybody, this is a video filled with nothing but ads. Doesn't that sound fun? Oh boy. Each ad From is the a video. To the wonderful. From Each the video is an ad. Memorable. From the hot to the moldy. Welcome to the insane world of video game commercials. Hey, I'm okay. Nathan Drake. Subway. We're winners. Subway. Here. Wow. Part one. He just pulled his eye out. I don't want it. These are the I guess of now he can that watch his I mouth. Them just to make me think. Okay, I don't want it now. Well done for doing the literal opposite of what an ad is supposed to do. Stuff like what you see here, a PS2 ad from 2003 featuring a couple of people hearing the news about the console Wait, the and the shops were to pick wild, one huh? up. And then a few more hear about it. Then a few more. And a few more. And a it's few like a more. zombie and by apocalypse. The end, all I can think about is how many variations of syphilis do it I looks now like have? World War Z. Anyone? Where is the fun here? If buying a PS2 means I have to rummage through a heap of sweaty men only to get thrown back down to another heap of sweaty men, well, there's a lot cheaper and easier ways of doing that. All of this doesn't make me think how popular the PS2 mm, okay. is or how much I want to join the community. It makes me think of Black Friday with a high heel in Grandad's head. PS2. No, it looked exactly Box. like World War Z. Sickness. Two billion dead. And Where they start climbing over the wall. Cap? What has he been swimming in? What has he been swimming in? Oh, doesn't matter. Down he goes into the mountain of men. Goodbye, kid. Never to be seen again. Oh, God, that is disgusting. Just like Patty. Hollywood. Ready the implications. I'm going to give you two minutes to start making your guesses on what this ad is about. Ready? About my Three, wife? Three, two, one, 
Go. No, you're wrong. It's for Monster Rancher 2 on the PlayStation. Yeah, oh, Monster Rancher 2. It's for an anti-chafing okay. beard cream. Or an Monster Rancher 2 is a good a game. Bath. It's actually for a Japanese monster battling simulator. Well, Monster Rancher, Rancher in general. doesn't stop there. I loved that show as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know if I'd call that boring and more smelly, but go on. For something exciting, check this out. Right, so you have the gall to say that cavemen are boring, which might I add, they are very in they right are. now. I mean, Christ, look at me. But then immediately go on to talk to me about what's really exciting while sounding like that. Get real. For something exciting, check this out. Yeah, I can. Such a good I'm show. Lame. God, that was such a good you show. I miss it. I want to go watch it right now. Right now. Kitchenware. 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 Well, gee, this ad's going really well. I hope nothing. I mean, I didn't understand happens, how to play the game on PlayStation because I was so young, but still. Game Boy Color. Use the special card on each. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh, he cut his hair. Now he has a man bun. Interesting. Smash. Did that... Did that really just happen? Game Boy Color. You was the special card, Oli. Uh, yes. Yes, it did. I've got nothing. That was something that just happened. This Christmas Game Boy Toys Color, is okay. Place for all your presents. A brand new Christmas I'm assuming because he used a black <laughs> man for the Game Boy Color. Gift ideas. So there you go, kids. That's how you advertise a Japanese monster breeding sim. Hope you liked it. 100% games. Well, that's just blatant false advertising. I'd say it was around 96% games and 4%. Ooh, Nintendo. Racism? 4% racism? Nintendo, apart from people that don't love Nintendo. <laughs> They Who doesn't love Nintendo? To bring in the whole family together and make you. And feel if you don't love Nintendo, do your opinions really matter? What have you got for us today? We are Nintendo Ultimate TV Game System. We That's not creepy at all. You cannot beat us. You cannot beat us, even with your robot partner. You cannot beat us. Yeah, no, this is uh. <laughs> Five Night at Freddy ripoff is definitely creepy. Oh, you're just gonna pay somebody to run you over. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I cannot just beat ahead. you. Very good. Good. Very good. I don't want to. Oh yeah, look at this beast. The Jaguar. Atari Jaguar. Oh no, sorry. The Atari Jaguar. Oh, Enjoying yeah, the car. yeah, the Jaguar. Really far. Oh, no, Not Jaguar. Tar. When the original ad campaign is oh, telling me you. that I can't you, add Gaddy. numbers together and calling me thick as whale shit. Sega Genesis is 16 bits. 3DO is 32 bits. The Atari Jaguar is 64 bits. Which 64 bits. Clifford. Hmm? Then chances are I'm not going to buy one. Come on, Cliff. Hell, I got one anyway. So he lights it on fire. And now that I have one, and then he we kicks have a look it, okay. Some games available for it, I like thought for a second Ball. maybe it was alcohol burning, so it wasn't going to damage the thing, and then he kicked it. Town on this kid. He's loving it. He can't get enough bits. 64 bits isn't enough. He wants all the bits. He does need all the bits. He needs more bits than Amaranth on Twitch. Oh, lovely. It's great to know that the console you want me to buy makes me sick up all over my bean bag. Tell me, does it come with 64-bit wet wipes? See, I have some at home, but they're only 16-bit wet wipes, so they can't clean anything higher than <laughs> part two. I wonder why well, you, know, you had to censor like those. What's on those uh, wet wipes? For some reason, game ads really used to have an obsession what in the world? with being downright disgusting for absolutely no game reason Game Boy Pocket now in oh, six tasty okay. colors? The Game Boy Pocket comes in six colors, and this one is but transparent. what does it have to do so with the tongue? The veins inside the tongue. If I didn't want a Game Boy before, I still don't want one. What are you sniffing, bro? That reminds me. I need to go and buy a PS2. Which pair oh, will be biggest okay. on the beach this summer? These now we know. Or these. Caddy By the way, uh, I censored this myself. The actual down with the ladies. Uncensored. Or if you want to know what it looks like under a lady, there, I'm well, not sure. I can tell you that they're hairy. And the best part about all of this is that it's an ad for Sonic 1 and 2 on the Sonic game Sonic 1 and 2? What does this have to do hey, Mom, with Sonic I 1 and 2? Sonic 2 on Game Gear! Alright, son! <laughs> Which one is that? Oh, you know, 
The one with the unshaved sack on it! You'd think that this would be the for one some with kind the balls. of hair growth shampoo or something, but no, we're now using pubes to sell a Sonic game. I mean, sure, why not? It's not like this stuff even works anyway, so, you know, why even bother advertising it? So while we're still on the topic of insides coming oh, out, so he here's didn't a video cut his game hair all the way. sick in it, because he that makes it up me in a buy bun. things. Okay. 60 bucks? Uh, this game sucks. It's exactly the same game! <laughs> Just throw up everywhere. That, that is, is disgusting. Absolutely outrageous. How could you bring yourself to put that? Oh, don't worry. It gets worse though. Not only does the ad keep going with our lovely man standing ankle deep in his own. Breakfast, oh, that is a lot of fun. Does... Oh, he pulls his spine out. With his tongue. That. Right. So whatever they're selling has to be really what good, right? Is or this? at least good enough to make you sit there watching is it a, man a Pokemon throw up advertisement? A and then beat himself to death with his own spine. So tell me. What should he have spent his $60 on instead of a game that he didn't what is like? It? What is it? Yep. He should have bought Call of Duty. He should have bought an Ouya. When like the world me. is a Ouya. And in their defense, the ad does show off one of the Ouya's best features. It catches absolutely everything that comes out of oh, your body. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, that oatmeal. Of in. Thinking more about it, though, this isn't only extremely appropriate for how the thing ended up, but how else are you supposed to advertise I've never even a console heard of sounds it. like a rallying cry for posh twats? Oh, yeah. We need to the Texas and smelly immigrants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm Sick I like of, it. Sick. I like Let's it. I never even Sony would have thought of it. With their... Oh. Uh, what in the oh, hell? Dear. What in the hell? I don't hell? know if you guys knew this, but I love sick. So I'm going to bring back the sick. It's great, isn't it? Especially when it comes from something completely natural. You're going to bring back the sick? Like, like from death? Like a caterpillar on his like face. Like Lazarus? everything in a restaurant until he literally explodes over everybody in the dining room. Excuse me, sir. Can I please get the bacon and eggs with a little drizzle of olive oil and fat yes. man? You know something? I love this ad. It's basically Nintendo getting away with Monty Python's R-rated Mr. Creosote on daytime TV. And the best thing about all of it is that it's promoting Mario. Mario! I, mean, I can see of it. The guy the does kind of look Italian, maybe. With stomach contents. You pick Yoshi. Not my sweetheart. Not my cheese whiz. Not my little dicky. No more bodily fluids. I think that's no a more bodily fluids. Request. Okay. Let's see I mean, what that's happens fair. in this that's Sega fair. Saturn ad instead. Then we've got bodily fluids. Lighting and music. Two It'd be women like shooting in blood. Toothpaste. Dramatic kissing of jewelry. Looking up to the only light in the room. A car. And then a, a man car. plays the Sega Saturn and. Oh, there goes his eyeballs. Okay. They were just evacuated from his head. The Sega Saturn. Cheaper than a vacuum cleaner. More effective than a spoon. <laughs> you know something? Looking at all of these ads has reminded me... I mean, me, to be fair, Caddy pulled his own I eye out earlier, that. so... Wouldn't it suck... to be in an ad? Hello, yes. I'm Spons! Wait, Hi, what are Spons? you doing here? We don't have a sponsor for this video. This is not a joke. At the time of filming this, I haven't landed a sponsor yet, so I have no idea. Well, don't worry about that, because I have a special power to transmit messages from the future through a radio okay. in my nose. There's a radio in well, your nose. Well, that's handy. So I will never have that to worry handy. about being unprepared for a sponsor ever again. Watch. This video has been sponsored by Wargaming and World of Tanks for PC. World of consoles. Tanks, ha, okay. Ha, ha, ha. Why did you ask me to watch that? I did not want to watch that. Now, I love this company or product or mobile game because... <laughs> it is an extremely fun and addictive tank warfare game that is the only one you'll ever need for your PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox I love that. Series S, Xbox Series X, PC, or pair of trousers. You I love this enjoy as many product on or game or because the game sponsor. Is play. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. I had no idea they were allowed to do that in today's economy. And the best thing about it to me is that there are over 1,000 authentic tanks to choose from in a gushing torrent of maps. To I, I don't want to pause it because I know everybody loves spawns, but I wonder how much of this was actually truly shot before and just relayed and edited to make it make sense in this video or how much of it he actually edited afterwards because if all these generic random responses were really truly generic and random beforehand he is a masterpiece he's a mastermind right now they even have a partnership with warhammer 40,000 until june 6th for unique one-of-a-kind tanks commanders and much more well that just blows me off and you can head to the description right now and use the code tag mania after it can blow the me the off link below to get the excelsior tier 5 tank 250,000 credits seven days of premium access and three tier six tanks rentable for 10 battles each you can also use the code w that tank it looks like a uh, in order to get the churchill three tier five tank and 300,000 bonus credits whoa that's a lot of whatever that is isn't it 
it. And it's only for a limited time. So once again, thank you to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. And go to the link below so that you can get all of those bonuses I just talked about. Why weren't you listening? I mean, come on. You don't want to miss out on this saving, do you? It is a saving, isn't it? Yeah? No? Yeah. That's what we're going with. Yeah. It's yeah, let's saving. go with that. That's yeah. good. That's good enough. Yeah, we'll call it good there. On it being a saving. And if I'm wrong... It's then... probably a saving. Bye. Wow, <laughs> wasn't that a great sponsor from Spawn? It was a Spons. great sponsorship. Thanks, Spawn. now that that ad is done, we can finally get back to watching ads. Ah, everybody's favorite sport, golf. Oh, Who doesn't look, love that classic golf game? Golf is a good game. Spheres across miles of wasted I mean, I've never played it in, in it. person, well, this lady but I have on tell you. Nintendo. Time. I'm trying to putt! Come on, honey, get off my ass! I've got to get the bucket out of the knee! Yeah, you're only having a child, no big deal. Bitch! You know what? I get it. Sometimes <laughs> you're so deep into a game that you just don't realize the important things around you. Like exactly, your like your wife and having a baby. With your own spawn. So just in case you weren't paying attention... Oh, there goes the water breaking. And I guess that's why they call, they call it, it the browns. First oh, off, browns. disgusting. Second, kind of is disgusting. That face makes it. Uh -oh. Thirdly, I can't think of a better ad for a game called Willy Golf. Actually, I think you'll find that it's pronounced Wailai Golf based on Wailai the real golf. Life golf club in East Honolulu, Hawaii. Whoa! No way! Thank you so much for the help, Mark. Random stranger. Book. That is Mark Book. Okay. I know it is. See, kids, you don't know what you missed out on. Who needs all of the world's information in your pocket when you can have a man follow you around who is also a book? Ha ha! Yeah. You're darn tooting right there. I did not Jim. know about Mark remember, Book, but now we know about Mark don't Book. Don't forget to take a look. More like Mark book. Weekly Planner. Oh, check it out. There's another video game commercial featuring birthing. Why is this becoming a recurring theme? The so Sims. this ad here is for the is it for the Xbox, Sims, maybe? And the tagline for the end is, Life is, Life short, is short, play, play more. more. So considering how we began with this, can you see where this is going? Maybe a heartfelt, fast-paced montage of someone's life playing video games with family photos and home videos? Oh, look at it. It's so sweet and peaceful. You Instead, we I don't know, but look at those teeth on that guy. Birth to a baby, Go back and look. But fires it out of her cooch like a nuclear submarine as it snaps its own umbilical cord oh my and God. careens through a window into the sky. And you know the weird thing? That's not why I think the ad is gross. Why? That's funny. Nah, it's the rest of the ad that rubs me the wrong way. Oh, There's I was going to say, is it because of, of the living their entire life large amount seconds, of unable to control the growth of their body hospital they bill they're going to have to pay? To end as their hair falls out while their teeth begin to rot. Oh, God. Repulsive. I'll give it that it's creative and kind of funny, I guess, especially when the old man totals himself right into a coffin. <laughs> Nice. Look, I mean, got some good that aim. is a but good yeah, aim. I just shot, can't. You know, good, well shot, well aimed shot. I, I can't. Can you? Well, I can't. I became a hero. Dad. I saved your kingdom. Dad. Yeah, Zelda? Oh, good old Robin are Williams. Are you mixing me up with the princess again? Hard to say. You're both Maybe you magical. are her princess. His princess. <laughs> Aww. That was absolutely precious. I wish every that is commercial cute. That ever is cute was like and wholesome. that. wholesome. We got an ostrich running on the beach, probably in Australia, where ostriches are from. Bad. A new challenger approaches. Okay. Ooh. Are these like uh, Skylanders type things? Yeah, who needs they Halo are. 3 dioramas set to piano by chopping when instead you can have a tribal man selling you a Game Boy while saying, if these aren't the coolest graphics, my name, my name is Yawiga Kanawi. <laughs> Sega Game Gear. I feel Something like that is that cultural appropriation to sell your mm, items. No, the Game Gear screen will also do that. And how about this billboard ad in the Netherlands? PlayStation the Portable White, White is coming. Came out and this does not oh, look okay either. Christ! No, we, don't we are want crossing territories we don't of want that uh, amazing PS4 ad or that PS2 one with the deer that completely totals that pickup truck by just standing there. No, we don't want any of them. We want McDonald's Sega Games Night. I like it though. Uh, 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 I hear people uh, all the time uh. telling me that this Pakistan Sonic Heroes Look, McDonald's advert slap, is one of the worst bro. that's ever been made, and I don't think we're watching the same thing. This is perfect. And if you don't agree with me, you can get out, you gaming big stackable pen. Yeah, gaming big stackable. Wait, what? 
Not only does it look just as good, if not better, than what those games would actually look like in real life. No false advertising going on here. I but had get immediately so many of, of you can those type of handheld like, controllers as a kid, or consoles as a kid. They were so good. And who could possibly forget? My favorite part of the whole Back ad, before though, the is Game Boy Advance. Or the Game uh, yes. Boy in general. How could I forget that classic Sonic character? Rogue the albino rat. Rogue the albino rat? I don't know. Is that a character hey, in Sonic? I never played a lot of Sonic. What are you doing here? Also, do you want to watch an ad for Hey You Pikachu on the Nintendo 64? Sure. That's three minutes long. Dude, okay. what's this? It's Hey You Pikachu. Hey You Dude, Pikachu. Can I play? Dude. Now I'm everybody's best friend. Okay, first, oh, yeah. it's a one-person game. And second, you have to get Pikachu to trust you. Things like that don't just happen overnight. Dude, sir, can I play? I'm doing it. It takes patience. I'm doing it. Patience is a girl. Look, I will say Pikachu trusts Ash after all the shit that Ash has put Pikachu through. I don't know, man. I think Pikachu is a pretty trustworthy individual. Or trusting individual. No WWF! Okay, yeah, I'm done. Can we please go back to the gross ads? I'll take anything over this. Are they the PlayStation symbols? Oh, God. With sweaty skin. I didn't even notice at first. And body hair where is the back part at why is her butt up I against my it? mind let's go back to the bad what's going on here then become a dragon ball z warrior <gasps> okay i've always dragon wanted ball z to become a dragon ball z warrior i don't know guys Apparently i've always wanted to become a dragon ball z one, warrior too to do a decent job of making dragon ball z look pretty good become a super Saiyan. i like how he calls it dragon ball z I'm already a super sign there's all the punching and the kicking and the caramel and there's even the special fight to the death anime moves like <laughs> he just looks like he's ready to be <laughs> super saiyan <laughs> and <laughs> beat frieza <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. I can't handle it. Why did they pick that face? Of all the faces a human is capable of making. Do you not understand the pain inside of those eyes? That is the same amount of pain as Goku when he lost all of his friends on planet Namek. Just look into his soul. That smile, that smile, it's so forced. It's not real. That is the pain that's going to cause somebody to level up and go Super Saiyan. I'm sorry, Caddy. I disagree with you on this one. Making why that one? Oh, come on. It has to get better. Does it get any better? Oh, there's another one. Yes. See? Look, that's what I'm talking about. The pain. Yes. It's in the I'm eyes. I'm buying it's Dragon in the Ball eyes. Z for the Connect. Well done. You sold it to me. And while we're on that subject, do you know what other game was sold to me immediately after I saw the ad for it? Do you like hey, look, awesome it's so fake. That are awesome. Yes. Yes. yes, mate. Where's we the love line? awesome Where's things that are line? awesome. Make the bad guys cry like an anime fan on prom night. Slam dunk, home run, <laughs> back of the net. I'm drowning myself. That is a good uh, commercial line. I wonder what he's recording with. That's pretty good quality for underwater. Some this iPhones are water resistant now, so probably the prime epitome of a bad ad. Not just for games, but for anything. Yet, for me, it just tips over that threshold into so bad it's incredible. Jump dash, spiral, slide. There's probably a dash that makes you breakfast. I don't know. Dash that makes you breakfast? That doesn't make any sense. Lol. I don't. I don't agree with that one. Oh, Not with the only spit does the trailer water. actively show you how much the game looks like a domino special offer, but it also says things like... It does like, kind of look like a pizza. Cool. And things like... Crazy addictive, like popping bubble wrap addictive. Ah, yes. I mean, that the is addictive pretty addictive. The pastime of popping bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is Something great. I, do I don't know. Maybe seven seconds. That's true. And then you just crumple it all Which up and then you just pop all of it. I spent on my number nine. Oh! Then you can do your tongue, okay? on combos to rack up your would pop Caddy's tongue you like that on Caddy's tongue. Combo action. But ah, if a combo on top of a combo creates combo on combo action, that in itself is a combo, so isn't it just a just combo? Just combo action. So yes. at the end of the day, all I can really say is... Absorption. But, mighty number nine, small potatoes. Tiny number carrots. Nine. Okay. Garden peas. Garden peas? Because the greatest Peas don't even come from Garden. Out of all time, they come from the opinion, urethra. A shadow of a doubt goes to... Goes to who? Goes to what? Goes to where? I'm goes to text to message, voicemail. Video, but this one player keeps kicking my ass. Is it the Legend 27? Yeah, the Legend 27. Oh, oh the Legend God, 27. I, I forgot the about that. Holy crap. The first game of war player ever. Okay, in this ad's defense, it's not I forgot about anything. that meme if entirely. You anywhere on YouTube in 2017 slash 2018, then you saw this ad. 
and you saw it again and you saw it again yes and you saw it again again how many times did we see it and you didn't see it and now we're seeing it again. Saw it again. Game of War, man. The mobile smash hit that birthed at least a couple of memes. And not only because it was repeated I never got into games YouTube like these. Ad nauseum, but mainly because I just you couldn't, couldn't do skip it. it for at least I hated five building seconds, my own meaning that whenever civilization. You were unlucky enough to get this ad before a video would play, you would always just get far enough into it to see this man say, Is it the Legend 27? And then have just enough time to squeeze in. Yeah, the Legend 27. And if you weren't quick enough to click on the skip ad button when it was ready, you'd be left with one more. Who is the Legend, Legend 27? Legend 27 this. Legend 27 Repeat things Matt. twice. Who's the Legend 27? I'm the Legend 27. The Legend three 27. times. Three Where times. are my 27 legends? Twice. Legend 27. I heard the Legend 27 was so cool. He did. He didn't go to school. <laughs> the Legend 27 stole my corn. I lost a race to the Legend 27. He looks so mad. What just happened? That guy looks so mad. Who was that? Oh my gosh, she's the Legend 27. <gasps> oh my god. Was she the Legend 27? Well, he was. you know what they say. Maybe the Legend 27 You would have known if you us, watched the whole the ad, Caddy. Come on. Along the way. Hi, I'm Barry Scott, and Sinnet Bang is so powerful, it rotted my teeth. Golf, there's just nothing good on TV anymore. That is, is a great-looking TV, though. Oh, crap off. There's someone at the door. I was just about to get a signal. What? <gasps> Oh my god! Who is it? It's you. What is it? Who? Me. Mirror. Part four. Out cold. Why? These are the why? ads where whenever you see them, you think, why? Why? There's this one for the Game Boy, which is apparently more fun than a hole Game in Boy your head. Game Boy more fun than a hole in your head? With a face yeah. like that, I think there's that a hole somewhere That doesn't look like well, a... at least that's better than this other Game Boy ad, which is now more fun than a ferret your down your trousers. Uh, you Not know, sometimes furries exist. Take the ferret exist. out and he'd look like this. Unacceptable. Goatsy now you're in ad. double trouble. Goatsy. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice. Or should I say? Until he said it. Adbundance. Oh, 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 oh. Adbundance. Ah! Oh, These oh. kinds of commercials, which are extremely love the dad memorable, jokes. but also make you just go. Why? If you buy Why? Sega Saturn before September 30th, you get three free games. Fuck, we're nice. Seems can fun. Be good, bad, clever, stupid. Just random games? Or they could be the possibly offensive PSP Dust Balls. Ah, oh, Dust Ball! No way! You got a new PSP with a crazy <laughs> widescreen LCD! This ad is only just over two minutes long, but it feels like two days. I don't understand who this is for. Why? Why are you gonna be I so stereotypical? Oh man! This is like totally chick magnet stuff! Yeah, you know, I'd be watching a movie in a laundromat, and I see the sad girl, and she go, Hey girl! Why are you so sad? And she says, I lost my favorite song! Then I go, Don't be sad! I got a song for you! And then I like a really happy song and then she gets a so really happy, happy song dancing with me and then i put bubbles in the washing machine people would take okay. pictures and download them to the psp and girls would good be question like, oh, is why though like why like psp it's really really crazy psp it's really really crazy <laughs> i'm kind of mad i'm kind of mad right okay here's why i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you why i'm mad because all of the stereotypical bullshit that they just went through with the whole Latino or Latina X Mexican stereotype voice acting sounded like uh, Cheech Marin. Um, and they call it crazy. They could have called it loco. You know, they could have called it loco. They already went and crossed the line. They might as well went all the way through. Ah, maybe it can't get any worse with the PSP squirrels. Come out and play. I can't. I'm playing nut. But the You're playing nut. nut. Portable nut. Well, that's the fastest I've ever proven myself <laughs> wrong. <laughs> you know what I really want to see from my commercials? Three naked what? men going, huh. <laughs> If you couldn't <laughs> figure it <laughs> out, and honestly, I don't know how you couldn't, this was an ad for Strider on the Sega Mega Drive. But I bet what you didn't know is that the reason they're looking off screen making these noises is because they're laughing at some great videos. What are they YouTube. laughing at? What are they laughing at, Caddy? Oh, they're laughing at Caddy Spyro. Ooh, okay. okay. It's a girl. Let's see what's going on. It was a good video. Looks like aerials, right? Let me tell you what bugs me about human endeavor. What? What bugs you about the human endeavor? 
I knew you can't could get my talk. mic placed See, right. this is what makes PlayStation ads the best. Much like how their game library wasn't afraid to just throw everything at the wall and give you experiences no other console could at the time, Sony also did that with their PS1, PS2, and PS3 ads constantly. Like, what do we have here? Oh, I know. A Scottish lady that CGI to look like a Martian talking to you about focusing on your own positive experiences that matter in your own head without needing to worry about contributing to the grander picture of mankind. I would say that's big brain energy right there. there. Don't forget to buy a PS1! And yeah, ultimately, I see this ad and I go... What? But at the exact same time, I look at her with that carrot-shaped head and those hypnotic twisted eyes so far apart those from are each other, hypnotic eyes. a bus in there, and I go... What? <laughs> yeah, let's move <laughs> Just on go to what again? That's disturbing. Just go what again? What is this about to happen? Why is there a finger pushing a ball? This gumball creature, I have no idea what it is. What is that yellow or Look, pink creature? I don't creature? know what I'm supposed to say about I this, cannot but talk I today. am going to send crap. my complaints to Nintendo for making me Google Kirby Finger and leaving me with Kirby images finger. I never wanted to see. Let's reel it back a little bit then mm. with this lovely, peaceful, innocent ad about a mother nurturing her baby Aww. little baby. Imagine it's the so sweet. You felt safest. Now, how soothing is this? What could possibly it is. It's go very wrong? soothing. Natural nature. Anymore. Natural nature. Oh, that uh, happened. Okay. Biohazard, are you going to chloroform yourself? Ah! Nope. We're going to bleach your eyes. That okay. was incredible. Not sure if it makes yes. me want to play Resident Evil 4 or not, but it makes me feel good knowing that my innocence wasn't the only one destroyed by the internet. People on sure, TV of course not. in 2004 got exactly the same treatment as I did as a kid oh, yeah. on YouTube in oh, 2006. Yeah. Oh, God, this thing. This thing. Just a lovely car traveling through a serene, peaceful valley. Hello? And then, yeah. Oh, God. Like we might have been made that was even worse than I remember. If this was on TV. Aside from the fact that we weren't at all and it got very quickly banned, but I can at least Ooh, respect. Oh, did I just see some tarts? Oh God! What is this? Look, everyone, it's Diego, the advertising Mexican dust man. Put the lady back on the telly. Wait, Scottish? Are you sure you're Mexican? Oh, how dare you! I always hit you. I'm Scottish I'm Mexican? Mexican? Can you please stop before you upset another seven countries? Is that a didgeridoo? CSP? I killed a man. Funnily enough, though, he does bring up a good point. Everybody knows the old advertising adage, sex, Look, I mean, sex. You know, even Laura though we Croft, just saw a man. rotting undead woman Sheesh. feeding a child most possibly spoiled milk, I can't think of any better way to move on to part spoiled five. Spoiled milk. Very nice. Very Pubescent. nice. That was very yes, subtle. Son, we're getting into the good stuff now. What, you don't like it? What are you, wussy little bitch reading the topsy and tip? It's time for the grown-ups now. No minors allowed here. Yeah, no oh. minors allowed, baby. These are the ads oh, get that we've seen a minor. thousand times that sell you products entirely Still on the basis Still can't get my mic placement on my camera go, placement oh right now. It's driving me nuts. Thank you. Because as we all know, everybody will buy your game, but only if it has boob. Gex, I remember when Gex you was a good game. hands off me. Well, to be fair, lady, <laughs> this looks a lot more fun. <laughs> Funny army man go He is having okay, fun. To be fair, not just with boob. It. I mean, hell, look at Orangina. That ad covers everybody. I mean, you so know, no I think I understand Straight, the origin gays, of furries now. Furries, tentacles, uh, orange juice, and games orange have juice, seen it tentacle all, breasts. Literally all. And I mean all. Tell Santa you want oh, balls for Christmas. Okay. What, while I Those were his condoms. Lap? Blur. Race like a big boy. <laughs> Race like a big boy? Who is that man? I don't to understand. Attract? Yeah, honey, I only play video games for big boys. Don't. Don't. You that don't. looks like a Walmart don't jacket. You want me? Sega joystick. The more you play with it, the harder that, uh, it gets. You sit there, eyes glued does to not the look, um, quality graphics. I guess it looks normal, knob. natural, but. Can you please not? And for God's sake, if doing that too much makes your fingers look like a load of broken twigs, I don't want to touch anything from Sega ever again. This is your hand. This is your hand on knobs. Don't do <laughs> this knobs. This is your hand on knobs. Sadeki, don't do pray knobs. Pray for a full frontal assault. Silent pray Hill for a full downpour. Assault. Let's get wet. Game Boy. Let's get wet in Silent Hill. PS Vita's double front and back touch screen. Oh, oh yeah, okay, I don't like that. Croc I don't like Lara that either. Croft. That's uh. I'm Mutation. sure that's sexy Mutated. to somebody. Narc, a big bust is about to go there we down. Go. Oh yeah. She's got some nice breeds. There, there, or well, there. The point is, there is no point. Ads like this just don't exist anymore, probably for good reason. But thanks to the internet, we can all watch them back together and have a jolly old hat <laughs> at them. Jolly Besides, old. they can't all be that degrading, can they? No, they can't. Couldn't be all that degrading. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I am so 
offended. Is he rewinding? Do you remember the good old days when women knew their place? I'm sorry. Was that an ad with two <laughs> guys using I a do. controller to inflate a woman, strip her down to nothing, spin her around in circles, and then brand the juiced logo on her like cattle? Yes, and they that's exactly what that was. Her butt bigger. This ad was, well, it was banned, understandably. And for the sake sure. of YouTube, I sure. also had to censor it myself. Yeah, sure. the original screening had no censor at all. I really? tell you to not bother looking it up on your phone in public for fear of embarrassment, but the original video is in 240p. You can't see shit. Right, I think we should call it off a little bit Nintendo and check Recovery out this Center? Game Boy Micro ad. Nintendo, eh? I did Family, not know there was a Game Boy Micro. Wholesome, clean, and about as seductive as a nun at Nintendo. What could they cook up for for an ad campaign in 2005? A lab rat? Okay. He jumped the wall. He climbed over. And it is humping the gaming console. Yeah, that brought the mood down a bit, console. didn't it? Okay. For me, though, I think the worst part of this ad is the fact that the mouse is going to town on top of the micro, which is where the extension I was going to say, where, is. where is the, must what port is it going purpose. into? You must have. Mickey, you're putting the wrong extension in there. Oh, and the second worst bit is at the very end. Couldn't have hit the, like, yeah, auxiliary the cable at it. port. And your man hasn't stopped it. He's just watching. Yeah, seems yeah, to like that it. is kind of weird. Dirty slag. Look, I don't mind. He's a scientist. You leave him alone, Kadikaris. You leave him alone. He is studying right now, okay? The choices that you make or how many partners you bring home, but no Game Boy of mine is going to slut themselves out in public. Yeah, you get out. Go. I never want to see your whore face around here again. <laughs> <laughs> Funniest moment anyway, of the whole clip. Here's another ad for a game that had no opportunity to even try and make it sexy, so I have no clue why they even bothered trying. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volume. Oh, I remember this. This was uh something so, uh, that um, this ad was banned and we like, all wanted as a kid. Eh? Out of everything else we've seen that hadn't been banned, this was apparently going too far. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Play with a friend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, play with mm -hmm. yourself. Yep. In my opinion, there's yep. an even better play with dead your friend or, alive or yourself. That actually made me genuinely laugh when I first saw it. <laughs> Paul, do you want to come over and play uh, I, I, Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball? Fighting. These guys were casted perfectly. And those 16 characters with the, the pixel shading bump mapping? <laughs> I mean, bump yeah, mapping? why the pretense? Why act like that's not the main reason people picked these games up back then? It's been the main selling point of the series ever since the PS1. Look at them, they look, look like the shopping physics. bags for draft. And the rich plot development. Seriously, why else would I play it? That's a good question. That is a really she good question. High. Why else would you play it? I can respect this ad for just owning she up to it high. and laughing oh, okay. at yourself at the same time. <gasps> What? Uh, I guess he's into that. I I guess. There's a strange feeling in Caddy's pants. Confused and it fell off. I have no oh, idea okay. where to even begin with this one. It's for the PS2 cult classic Mr. Mosquito, and with an ad like this, Mosquito. I can understand why it never went further than that. Too much Who in the world in would want to play that game? None of it adds up, so I'm going to translate what I think was being said. Oh no, a mosquito! I hit it. <laughs> nice one, mate. I hate mosquitoes. I hate them too. I changed my mind. I changed my mind as well. By the way, I just <laughs> shaved my legs. Wow, what shaving cream do you use? Gillette. That's great. Can I borrow it? Mr. Mosquito, suck blood out of a woman's leg. Gillette. The best man can wow, get. That's round. <laughs> but however worked up or hot under the collar that video game ads were capable of getting, none could even dream to top this next one. Okay, what is it? Every time I see it, it stirs something in me. I'm ready to be stirred. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare. Advanced Xbox Warfare. One. Xbox One. Copy that. Oh, Copy that. yeah. This ad is too hot for TV. It should have been banned before it was even made. This man is a modern day Marilyn Monroe. Where's my calendar? You know something? After re watching that Call of Duty EB Games ad and seeing how well I, that I don't get it. guy delivered Nothing his has lines, been stirred inside of me. Whoa. Hey, guys. Welcome to EB Games. What is up with the cut in his hair? Guess. Like, that lineup is not. We need to good. bring back bullying. Part six. Hardcore. Hardcore. You idiots have brain cells. Is this what? a small person? 20. Uh, you know what, you got a fair point. Oof, time to get heavy. We're not being a puss anymore. We're gonna kick and scream. We're gonna call you a prick. Buy our product or you're a troglodyte. What are you? A worm. No kids allowed anymore. Who did you expect to see here? Lightning McQueen? Yes, I did expect to see Lightning one McQueen thing here. That games what is wrong with this kid? Sorely... 
I would whip that kid's ass. That lady needs to bend him over, pull his pants down, and spank him in front of all of his friends right now. Out on for the last 15 years, it's the ads that pick you up and never stop yelling at you. You're gonna play pole position. And the pole ads that position, you okay. And everybody that you love. Hey. Yes. You look like yes. a real jerk. You know the commercials Thanks, that man. just don't I appreciate give that. a shit. The commercials that go hard and don't care who they upset so much that you can only go. Domestic Ooh. violence. Hitman Ooh. blood money. Okay. Beautifully executed. Beautifully executed. Ooh. I mean, you know, she's Ocarina very pretty time. laying there dead. Whilst thou get the I'm girl also into necrophilia. Play like one. Oh, Nintendo. It's a me, misogyny. Oh, yeah, man. You don't want people Whilst to think thou get you're the a girl, girl do or play you? like one. Running around hmm. in a skirt with a fairy, hitting things with a stick. I miss completely blunt advertising. Even if it wasn't that clever or tried so desperately to be badass that it misses the mark so much and loops completely around itself to end up becoming badass. Daikatana, John Romero is about, about, about to make you his bitch. bitch. Okay. Who's John Ooh. Romero? And it's not just them. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Crash Ooh, Bandicoot shit. On they call out Nintendo. on his competition's private property with a PA system to yell about how much they suck. Mortal Kombat. I like so that. real it hurts. Yeah. It reminds me of like when Wendy's calls out other fast food places on Twitter. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Yeah, kids getting beaten up. Kids getting beaten up. There are two kids kinds getting of beaten up. We like that. World. We like that. The ones who still play on consoles. Consoles. And the ones who the have ones actually, who actually seen breasts. Seen breasts. I don't get that one, but okay. Oh! By the way, I take personal offense to Are that. Are you applying that PC gamers saw breasts? breasts? In the mirror. I mean, come on now. How could I have seen them? Didn't you I know see, that girls uh, don't even play games? The most all the time. inflammatory and extremist gaming company in the world told me that. Nintendo. And of course, there's the ads that don't give a flying oh my God. pig. Nanotech Warrior. So fast, eyelids are a liability. Eyelids are a liability. What? And how about what? this ad for the original Wipeout where they compare playing the game to doing drugs? That They're does kind of look nose. like uh, they may be shot up some doing cocaine. My favorite thing about the Wipeout ad campaign, though, they is don't look like they were doing cocaine. Ad caused so much controversy when the sequel Wipeout 2097 came out. Original Wipeout, the new, new Wipeout ad XL. Went even harder okay. by using the articles written about how disgusting their previous ads Kids were game and drug them all together row. into a printed panic attack. They promoted themselves with complaints, arguably made it look scarier, and then said nothing else. So hey, you know sick. what? That's My some uh, balls right there. One, though, but Susan, I have Klonoa. Hey, what baby, is Klonoa? I want Klonoa. Never have I ever seen a game sell itself as an STD. I have not either, but I do kind of want to know what I Klonoa mean, is now. I said I wanted Klonoa when I was younger, and this is exactly how I got my copy. Also, Klonoa does sound like an infection you'd catch in your genits, and I hate that I never noticed that before. But it does now. look like but a good game. Is, it gets even better. That was just the first page. You want to see what's on the second one? Sure. There he is. And pointing up at her. Just hanging around. Hey or kids, them. they're transmitting me. <laughs> Klonoa is there, not even standing in the photo or being a character in the scene. He's just on a cut out circle, pointing and smiling at AIDS. Once you've got Klonoa, you won't want to get rid of it. Yeah, you're right. It's very okay. expensive nowadays. And of course, they had to include the classic Klonoa tagline. Klonoa by Namco. Blow Klonoa up or by shut Namco. up. Blow up or shut up. I don't. Okay, but get listen it? to okay. me gobbing off. There's too many examples Greg's? of printed ads here. That's we a need pretty to get the sweet uh... stuff back ASAP. And the more right desperate and over the top they are, the more hardcore. I'm sorry, that's just how it works. Like this one here for ice hockey on the Atari 2600, where a man asks the cashier if they have the game. He tries it out and then he ah, ruthless tripping gets a little bit into it. You See? See, I told you, video games turn people violent. That's what people have been saying this whole time. Mothers against video game violence. That's, uh, that's exactly what's going on right now. Really? You think you're ready for all that? I'm ready! I'm ready! Oh, and were you hoping He's to ready. be mad to he calmly is tell ready. me what the game is and what you can play it on? No. I Activision. Activision. What makes this commercial so damn great to me, though, is the fact that all of these that guttural, dude is going ham. screams are for a game that looks like this. Perfect. Look, that's a pretty sweet game. Oh, and if you want to go back to the bullying angle for a second, take a look at this Pac-Man 2 ad. So, you okay. got friends, but imagine if you had one special friend. Hi, I'm your buddy. <laughs> Hi, I'm your buddy. 
was me as a kid, to be honest. Are you trying to sell me Pac-Man 2 by comparing it to fishing for the mentally handicapped with dirty old pants? What's worse? Oh, that is disgusting. Itself? Or the fact that I really want to play the game now. Yeah, okay, maybe that was a massive low blow. How about we pick on people our own size, like mothers? Sure. Here is a Dead Space 2 campaign where yeah, EA showed the games were a load of moms and used their reactions to sell their 18 plus game to the people who love upsetting Ooh, their parents the most. You know most. what, man? Dead Space was a scary yeah, fucking game. I don't game. get it either, but in terms of real-time commentary, what we ended up with is gold. I see what looks like Earth and outer space. What? That looks nothing like Earth. It's got rings. This is going to be good, isn't it? Oh, I'm it's going to be done. great. That thing is icky right there. So the idea is that over 100 women were invited by EA to take a look at some beta trailer footage for Dead Space 2 without them knowing what they were getting themselves into and then were all asked to react honestly to what they were seeing. Of all the footage... I get it now. I get it now. You know why she thought it looked like Earth? Because she was looking at the rings and they're flat and so is the Earth. That's exactly what it is. It's only six women got used in the campaign. <laughs> And I think they picked the best ones. Hi. Hello, and welcome to EA. Before you get comfortable, would you be interested in a cup of coffee for only $4? Or would you like to get the season pass to sit on this chair for $39.99? Get, get the DLC they go package. Every spectrum of emotion you can think of disgust, terror, enjoyment, laughing, and then suddenly realize what they're looking like at. It looks like the, uh, the black lady loved it. Some of these women just gave their honest opinions and walked out, fair play, but some of them take it an extra step further and act like they're in some sort of POW camp. So I'm free to go. Free to go? So I'm free to go. You haven't been arrested. <gasps> You've been free to walk I out at any time. did it. What did she do? What did she do? Bum, bum, bum. Are you calling the police? The policeman. And the one that inarguably takes the cake is this lady here, who has a pretty basic- She looks like oh, a grandma. No, ooh, it's gross. Oh, that shouldn't be on the outside. Reaction. But at the very end, she goes on a socio-political rant about the evils of society. That's awful. No wonder society is so corrupt. It's not very good. We have a society mm -hmm. of criminals. So yes. when people talk about because of video games. Russia- Look at what the ice hockey did. Is she Look at what the hockey I, game I did. If I ever see it somewhere, I, I will personally take a hammer and and slam it xbox 360 games for sale buy two get one free dead space boy he's about to get messed up with a hammer i love that he's going we very plain rock 12 24. i don't know man i think a few of you might be going overboard a little bit. i don't understand it i don't understand it but it's quite it's okay simple, you don't have really. to understand see, it that's the earth in outer space i hope all of these ladies are yes. doing great i would actually watch e3 coverage if they were being around the themselves moon. commenting over it especially this lady she is absolutely fantastic <laughs> See, she looks oh, like she's having a great time. Coming them, gold? You could look at the campaign itself as a bit desperate and a little cringe, as the kids say. I mean, sure. it's like trying to sell meth by showing your dad going, oh, don't do that. But I don't care don't do about meth. the intent. I care about what they got out of it. And honestly, I think these women are more entertaining I don't know who my dad than most is. other people that play games on a professional level. They're not babies at all. Godspeed, all of you. And I, I really wish my dad would have been around to tell me not to do meth. Sitting on a it's too late now. Dead Space 2 cases, fixing our corrupt society of criminals. What do you think of that? That's pretty gooey. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London I would have loved. I would have loved to see him like breaking open a chocolate chip cookie, going, "That's pretty gooey." Falling down. Mr. President, a second plane just hit London Bridge. Hello, how are you? Oh, look, everyone. It's leg. It's my cousin, leg. What do you want from me? Oh, what do you I'm want, okay, leg? Thanks. Just a little pain in my leg. I Which wanted part? to show you this advert I found with an old man in it. Wow, that sounds thrilling. Put it on. Oh, look. That is accuracy. Is man. What delightful, whimsical stories from the past is he going to tell us today? Everyone is doing it. What are they doing? He's all ears. What? Guys are doing it with girls. Okay. The girls are doing it with other girls. Oh, we're I we're see. okay with that. It's just one giant extended eh, 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 joke. Awesome. Some get together <laughs> in groups and do it. Some people just like to watch other people doing it. A friend Look, of I'm mine asked me to take a drink every time Whatever you want, man. about doing it. 
We're not friends anymore. But what are we doing? For the first time, they don't last so long. Okay. I feel like I remember this ad. Get scared and pull out right in the middle of the This ad was apparently banned too, and considering it's for the M-rated 18 plus Call of Duty franchise, I find that a little pathetic. Some people have steady aim, and others just spray everywhere. Yeah, guys, we have this that's extremely heavy and grotesque realistic. That's a good joke. Realistic that's a good joke. Modern day wars in a video game that's only allowed to be sold to people 18 and over, but the advert for it has to be suitable for daycare at 11 a.m. in the morning, so that our target audience can sure. see it. And it can't be rude. That makes no, sense. It sounds like YouTube. Of God, don't actually show them the game they're talking about. Sometimes my dog likes to watch me do it. Wherever this guy hey, is, hey, look, you know what? To, I'm okay with that. I guess as long it. as oh, it's consensual. No. I've got Klonoa! Oh no, not Klonoa! And with that, let's close off with undoubtedly the most hardcore video game ad of all time. Alright, I'm ready. And it's for, weirdly, the original Legend of Zelda. Okay. Did you see the latest Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, no. nice graphic! Haven't. I'd like to get my hands on that game. You mean you haven't played it yet? It's the Legend of Zelda and it's really rad. Those creatures huh. from Ganon are pretty bad. Yeah. Under Architect takes levers too. But uh, with your help, our hero pulls through. I would say yeah. that this changed gangster the, uh, culture need to forever. Stop. But the truth Please, is, God. this ad predated Straight Outta Compton. And above all, it I love hip-hop. It's no secret. I love hip-hop. I hate, I hate hate when ad companies or just anything in general uses bad hip hop to make money it's just it's disgusting it's absolutely disgusting this is not a good song they need to stop doing this they need more complex rhymes just just stop that's why i don't like older hip hop it showed that zelda one was so hardcore it was great fun for literally everyone the chads and the betas Chads and betas, Not okay. women, though. N Nintendo don't like them. Whoa, no, they nice don't. graphic! Okay, seriously, the real most hardcore video game out of all time is this one coming up. No question, I'm right. right. I'm ready don't for it. Don't bother arguing with me, you'll lose, won't they, Daniel okay. Druff? Oh yeah, Caddy, they don't stand a chance Daniel against Druff. you. You win every Andruff. argument you ever start. I'd hate to be on the end of your Is that like Parmesan experience. cheese? Especially when it comes to your opinions on socioeconomic- Why did I invite you? It's this one, for the PS3. And I'm just gonna let you watch it from start to finish, because- Holy shit. Okay. Caddy's mind is something else. One day, scientists are going to open it up to see what's inside, and they're going to be scared because there's going to be a microorganism living inside of his brain, which is also a smaller brain inside of his larger brain. He's got two brains. Play Beyond? I don't get it. I don't think it was that hardcore. Raw as fuck. Do I know exactly what's going on here? No. Do I care? No. Is it trying to say that the doll here is I was like not that impressed, old, to be baby honest. Toy left to rot without any clothes on while it comes that could face be. to face with the future of play and it just can't handle that. That could seeing? very well be. Yeah, maybe. That sounds pretty reasonable, actually. Whenever I think of PS3, whenever I think of video game adverts in general, whenever I think of Babies. What? This is the one thing that screeches out of the deep creases of my brain. It's truly unforgettable, and that has to stand for something. It's weird, it's mysterious, it's creepy, it's minimal, it's intriguing, it's oh, uncaring, wow. it okay. dares you to find out more about it, and it probably didn't sell any consoles, which is why I love it. What's the point of any of this? To scare people away from the product. Hardest ad of all time. Why would you want to scare What's people away from your product? Over everything? Hey Shadow, long time no pee! And sadly, that's all Sonic, the time we have for today. That's but there's a lie. still the video could go on plenty longer, of time left. I wanted to stop here, get over it. Until the day I die, I will always champion insane and creative video game ads. Sure. Hopefully, I don't die tomorrow. I would rather have a million ads making the bad guys. Let cry me like know, an guys. What was your favorite than one video game ad? Boring gameplay montages with the same stuff blowing up and the corny, unbearable dialogue that overlays it. I'm seeing a freaking dragon and, oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. That is something I do know. This ad put me off a of Forspoken forever. Not because I think the game looks particularly bad or I think the dialogue is the worst thing I've ever heard, but mm -hmm. because the ad itself was just so boring and cliche. Sure, it's just a commercial to sell you a product, but why not put the, the same effort into promoting the thing that you poured sweat, oh, blood, and tears into 
as you did making. Oh, give gosh. me incredible, thought-provoking pieces of art, or give me bottom of the barrel spunk. Thinking about, think about it, right? Right? Like, so if you're a YouTuber, or you have to do anything with YouTube. The ads are going to be just like thumbnails. If you're going to put all the work into a video, why have a shitty thumbnail? You really can't afford to. I will remember that. That gets my interest. No one's going to click. I just flew in from the. No one's going to buy the game if you have a shitty ad. My arms tired. Whatever you do, just don't make it boring, which sadly 99% of video game ads are today. And I find probably that because the people advertising now, them are out of touch today, with the gaming culture. Bread knife and making a mess. So instead, I'm going to show you the most hardcore video game advertisement that has ever existed. No joke, I'm being serious this time. Okay, I'm Microsoft ready. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Remember, as you buzz oh the 42nd my floor God. Twin Towers and rudder into a power off spin recovery above Times Square, safety is is a pilot's first and foremost That concern. is fucked up. But we love it. Two 9-11 jokes within 10 minutes. I'm on a roll. Ooh, well, could I have King D-D-D? Ooh, well, could I have... I think I can end it here. I think I can end it here. Ooh.